Artists have been making sculptures for thousands of years. Out of clay, stone, wood. Some are made for religious purposes. Some are just to be beautiful. Some are seen as art. Others are seen as trinkets to take home from holiday. Even the ancient Egyptians had stone sculptures at their temples. In art galleries, they can be large and they can be small. They can be abstract or realistic. We're going to start off by making a foil sculpture. For the foil sculpture, cut some sheets of foil and then cut along the ends, splitting it into three. Then another sheet of foil you're going to cut into one third and two third. The two thirds you're going to roll up and put in the middle of your first sheet. The, the one third you're going to roll up, which and it's going to be a head. So I've put some ears on the head as well. And the foil, you can push the foil into really clear shapes. So push out some ears and then do the head. The edges of the foil are going to be the legs. So if you want thicker back legs, then you can also make some ovals, which are going to be the thighs for the back legs. So put the thighs onto the sheet, roll the edges up. And as you roll them up, you're going to roll the thighs into place. This is going to be a cat, by the way. Then as you get to the middle, Roll the middle around the body part and as you roll it in, you squish it together and it will stay in place. Then you can squish the legs, twist them if you want to, and then I'm going to fold them over so that they're half the length but twice the thickness. That makes them more sturdy. You can see all I have to do is squash the foil and it stays in place. It's amazing. And then that central piece of foil is the tail. So you want that to be nice and long and thin. So I'm not folding that back. And at the front, just cutting that so it reaches the body. Again, just squish the foil to make the legs, fold them back on themselves. And then you could twist them and squish them to make them nice, strong front legs. On the ends of those sticks, you can fold the foil back a bit if you want to have paws. So that central bit is for the head. And I'm going to place the head in that foil and wrap the foil around it. So that it's really secure squash the foil into place so you've got the nose and the head is on the body and then you can move the legs so that your cat can stand up i was thinking of ancient egypt when i was making this if you want to tidy it up you can cut strips of foil and wrap them around and that means you get a little bit more security but also it means the outside of your cat will be shiny. And I think they look quite good anyway. There we are. So next with the foil, I'm going to make a ancient Greek hydra. So I've got my piece of foil and I've cut it. I've cut nine strips and those are going to be the necks. And then on the ends of each of those strips, I have put a small ball I squish them all up just like I did with the tail so they've got heads in them and then attach them to a body like with the cat. This one is a turtle from the Caribbean so it's exactly the same process just shorter legs and a fatter body. I've got a shorter tail and probably a bigger head and then I'm just folding up and folding round a shell. Mm -hmm. 
So that's supposed to be an owl. And then there's an elephant as well. So salt dough. First of all, you need to make the mixture. So you want four parts of flour. So I've used a cup. You could use a smaller cup if you wanted to make less. And then one part salt. And then one and a half parts water. And then all you have to do is give it a really good mix. If it feels a bit too wet, then maybe put a bit more salt in. If it feels too dry, then maybe put a little bit of water in. So mix it, mix it, mix it until it's nice and smooth. So then I've taken a piece off and I have made it into an oval and I'm squashing out the wings. So this is going to be an Egyptian amulet scarab beetle. So I've squished out the wings, then I've put on a ball for the sun and then using a pencil and then eventually just using a kitchen knife, not, not a sharp one, one that you would use for your dinner. You can cut it really easily. Now the trick with salt dough is to not make too many pieces. So that sun is the only part that is separate to the main sculpture. So here I'm going to make a Caribbean lizard and you'll see I'm not adding any parts to it. I start with one piece of salt dough and then I gradually squish the salt dough out and cut it. Don't try and add things because it will just fall off. Or you can make a flat image, so roll out some salt dough, draw onto the salt dough the shape you want to make. So I have put on here an African elephant for those people doing Kenya and then you can cut it out just using your everyday cutlery and that makes a really nice sculpture and you can see there's a camel as well next to it for those of you doing ancient Islam and that camel you could decorate with those fantastic Islamic geometric patterns or make a tile. So you could use this as a coaster once it's cooked. And so I made a tile and I'm putting a really nice geometric pattern onto the tile, just like they would have done in ancient Islam. All across Persia. And all I've done here is I've just used the edges of the ruler, because it's nice and sharp. So once you've done that, you're going to put it into the oven at 130 degrees and you're going to leave it there for an hour and a half. It'll be cooked through and then you can paint them. I'm just using some old paint, watercolour paint that I had. You could use poster paint. Keep it nice and simple. And if you um, have felt tips, you can use felt tips. It's not particularly good for the felt tips. It will dry them out. Um, but... If that's what you've got, then that's perfect. So the scarab beetle, I'm making nice and bright. With my tile, I'm colouring in the geometric pattern. And of course, I'm going to make sure it's all symmetrical. So that means all the patterns match on either side. Building up the colours. Have a look on the internet and you'll get lots and lots of ideas for your sculptures in salt dough. Have fun, good luck.